Hello again for More to Life Outfitters. Hey, just want to do a quick uh, demo on some of the items that we have in store for fire making since it's camping season, uh, Father's Day weekend, I'm sure you're getting out camping. I impress your dad with some of these fire things. So I'm going to talk first about the MTLO fire kit. This thing has blown up. I've been selling it overseas or out of country, in country, all over the U.S. And I'll tell you why it's been selling. It's the most comprehensive fire kit on the market right now. I believe in the rule of three with fire, having three ways to fire. That way if you fail at one, you can move to the next. If you fail at that one, you can move to the next. And I'm a firm believer there's some days you just don't have fire. So let's talk about what's in the kit. Um, one thing you're gonna see in the kit is a uh, solar fire device, a Fresnel lens. I like this particular item because you can carry it in your wallet and you can start fire, look for splinters, whatever else you need to do. So I'm gonna move over here to the sun and we'll show you this one actually in action. Super thin, flexible, and you can carry it in your wallet. I like that. So I'm gonna get her to come around here and film me. Now watch folks, cause this is gonna be fast how quick this thing burns. You'll look, rotate it, focus your beam, and we've got smoke that quick. Now that's also dependent upon your sunlight. Now what I'm burning here is punk wood. If you ever find punk wood, which is rotted wood, it's gonna slow smolder and it'll, it'll, it'll keep a fire going real easy for a while. And you can see where it's burnt really good. A little bit of tinder bundle around that and we'd have had full-fledged fire. Fresnel ends, that's in the MTLO fire kit. That's one of the items in our fire kit that's very handy. Carry it in your wallet. So that's one of three. The next thing we've got is the flint steel striker. Now, if I can find flint, uh, a stone of seven or above, I can use this as a flint striker to be able to do flint steel fire. It's got a bow drill socket right here, and you can use it for bow drill fire. We're not gonna do those two today because I'm short on time. We're just gonna talk about it. One reason I like my fire tool is all your fingers are tucked out of the way. You're getting a good solid strike all the way through, a lot of surface area, super lightweight, can wear it as a necklace. If you've missed on this strike, you usually catch it on the tail. If you're doing flint steel or bow drill fire, it's cupped beautifully for your hand to be able to use that bearing block socket to do bow drill fire. That's another way to use this tool. I'm not gonna touch on this tool much more for right now. The kit itself has a ton of things in it. You've got the actual lanyard, which has fire starter inside of the paracord. You can pull it out, fluff it up, and use it as a tinder bundle. Breakaway lanyard, I might add, so you don't get choked out. You got a coal carrier. You've got char cloth. You have flint, lots of flint. You have a tinder bundle that's two years. All of my tinder bundles have been dried for years before I use them for tinder bundles. I also put a little bit of cattail and a little bit of char cloth in every one of those. I have my MTLO Pucket Pucks in here, and I'll show you one of those in action in a minute. Char cloth, a tin to be able to make more char cloth, fatwood, ridge pine, enough paracord to do your bow drill fire, all that in a nice waterproof, water resistant tin. Smoke's working good for me today. It's keeping the bugs off of me. So we're gonna put all that back. And there's a couple other goodies in there that I'm not gonna talk about. I like them to be surprises to the folks that buy my kit. So now here, we'll put the kit away for right now and we'll go into some just some hints and ideas for fire starting. Whoopsie. Gotta love this, dropping stuff. So there is dropping more stuff. Live, you gotta love it. I'm going to change sides because Mother Nature's messing with me right now, as far as wind goes. And she'll probably follow me because I'm beautiful. So we're going to move to this side now. We'll get this whole thing going and here she goes, my direction. Go figure. Okay, so we got the fire kit. We'll put that out of the way. We'll put the Fresnel lens out of the way. I'll put my MTLO fish up for now. Another neat little thing that folks don't know about is this MTLO fish, 
you can use it for uh, an improvised trowel, you can use it for pressure flaking, for napping, arrow shaft straving, shaving, straightening, things like that. And it's really cool. And it's, it's a great uh, teaching tool if you're a Christian bushcrafter and you're teaching a small Bible group primitive skills. You can tell the story of the ichthus and you can also tell the story of Jesus and the, uh, providing the fish and the bread to the masses. So it's a good training tool for Christians as well. Now, let's give you some hints out here. Folks, something that's kind of nice to keep in your kit. I'd get small slog sit on, didn't I? Is a little bit of steel wool. Throw that in there. The kit I carry every single day is just this. Nothing but a Ziploc baggie with a char tin, some tinder, uh, a little bit of char cloth, a little bit of flint, and I'm ready to go in this kit. So let's talk about this steel wool. I'll show you that in action, and I'm gonna use the fire block that we sell here in store. This is absolutely awesome. This one gets demoed a half dozen to a dozen times a day, every day, a uh, couple hundred strikes every day. It's a classic look. Now, I'm gonna use a little bit of this uh, steel wool and show you how that works. Set your rod there, solid strike through, and there's your fire, just like that. Great little tool, put that in your tender bundle, work to your next fire. So I'm gonna go try to put that out real quick. We'll go to our next method of fire. That's an awesome tool, that's the fire block. We have them here at MTLO, Mortal Life Outfitters here in Andersonville. Next thing I have is the pucket pucks. I love these things. They are handy, uh, great for starting fire. And I'm gonna use the uh, Swedish Mora knife, uh, the Light My Fire knife to demonstrate that. Now a lot of folks get my pucks and they, they wanna use the whole puck at once. I tell everybody, cut it in pizza slices. You really don't need that much for tender. So cut the pizza, cut the pizza, and just use a pizza slice to get your fire going. So we got our pizza slices going here and I'll throw these to the side and I'm just gonna use a whole half of one this time. So you'll take the puck and you'll fluff it up in the middle, just like this. Using the tip of your knife, fluff it up. Now you could use the fire block like I used a minute ago, or you could use the light my fire. Has a ferro rod in the handle, rotate it out. Spine edge is super sharp, so it's really easy to do stuff with. Push into it, there's your fire, just like that. One strike using the Swedish, the Mora Swedish uh, light my fire knife. That's an excellent option. Believe it or not, that is overkill. That will burn probably about two minutes straight if I let it burn. Uh, those pucket pucks are awesome. That's why I say only use a pizza slice. So let me put that out now. That's a sec another way to do fire. Love that one. And we're gonna go to the most volatile one. And actually, before I go to my, my grand finale fire starter, I'm gonna show you some tricks that you can use that you can typically find just about anywhere in the US. If there's pine, you can find it. And it's rich wood, fat pine, lighter pine. If you can't find it, I've got it in store. I sell blocks like this. This'll do hundreds of fire, believe it or not, and you're not having to buy a bunch of tender bundles or uh, build a bunch of tender bundles, excuse me. Go take spine edge of the knife. And that's why I like the more light my fire or a PKS knife like this. They've got sharp spines where you can just create that tender right there like that with the spine edge of the knife. PKS knives are great for that. I like the more light my fire because you've got your ferro rod right there with you. Like them both. So I'm just gonna take and I'm gonna lightly with the spine edge at a good angle, just slowly shave off some of that rich wood, lighter pine, fat wood, light pine, whatever you wanna call it. Every area of the US calls it something different. Same exact stuff. And it's what it is, is it's the high resin content part of the tree. Either the tree's been damaged or it's the root system where there's a whole lot of sap in it. Now, you see that little bitty bundle right there. Get that light my fire out. Give it a good strike down. And it might take a couple to get it. And there you are, fire, just like that. Three strikes. 
with the light my fire mora same thing with the fire block burn super good get you to fire quick little pointer if you've got this going and you want to slow down the burn time compress the pile down together and that'll slow the burn time down to where you can start building your cabin over top of it that's it that's that one so now another little trick if you find bamboo in your environment don't throw away the shit the little pieces the dried out pieces they make excellent tinder and i'll show you that if the wind will let me with that i just take spine edge of the knife you could use the light my fire you could use the pks any of the quality knives that I point out in the store will do this. Take spine edge of the knife, that way you're preserving your main edge for other things. And you're just gonna push down like that until you get those beautiful little feather-like pieces like that. Those will light really easy. Now on a windy day like today, I do a fire block around it or a wind block around it. But I'm just demoing, so we're just gonna play, get it together, maybe we get it, maybe we don't. And there you go. You're making a tinder bundle out of that little piece of bamboo that works really well. Get a little bit more and I'll show you how well that works. Love these PKS knives. Great choppers, great cutters, durable, stout. I found the outside bark uh, or outside surface of the bamboo works best for making these beautiful little tinder bundles like this. And this time we'll use the fire block to get it going. Fire block again, love this thing. Set here, push into it. And there you go, fire, just like that. Love these, what was that two strikes and the first one was operator error, wasn't the block. Love this, thousands and thousands of fires out of this. And now the last technique I'm going to show you that I've got in store that's absolutely awesome is the uh, the mag uh, oh excuse me the magnesium fire starter we have in store. It's got a compass in the end, it's got magnesium rod here, and it's got a ferro rod right there or ferrocium or ferrocium as some people call it. <coughs> With it, you've got this great cutter right here. You're going to take and get it at an angle that angle right there, you're gonna push the full length of your rod. Now you'll hear people like Morris Kachansky say only use the tip. I found that if you'll do it right the first time, you don't use as much. If you use just the tip and the tip only, you t it tends to take longer to get the fire. You're gonna low, slowly push this off right here. Make sure that you go the full length of the rod so you don't get skip marks or ridges in your rod. I found that works well. The less you skip, the quicker and the better the pieces you're going to get. See that little twirl right there? That's what you're going for. Now, I'm going to speed up the process. And, I'm, and I normally I would go back around and do it about four or five times until I have a tablespoon amount of that. I'm going to cheat today. And I'm going to take a little bit that I've just already shaved into a bag just to save time. And show you how amazing this magnesium is. Now, I will warn you, when you use this magnesium... Do not practice with this in a house or anywhere that you're not willing to have a major fire because this stuff burns up to 5,800 degrees, meaning wicked strong. Can't put it out with water typically, uh, so it's highly volatile. We've got our magnesium all done up, we're ready to roll, we'll take our ferro rod, we'll give it a good solid strike through. If you bust it apart, do it again. And now once you get that going, it's gonna be white hot. That's gonna dry out everything. And it's pretty much molten metal. So you don't wanna do this anywhere that you, you worry about catching stuff on fire, like indoors. Super hot, can't put it out. That's amazing. This block I sell in store, wet. You can throw this into the water, pull it out, shake it off, and you can do that with it believe it or not that will dry out anything you got and get you to fire quick look at that molten pile right there that works good stuff so come see us at mortar life outfitters get your uh, magnesium block get your firebox get your light my fire mora 
get your PKS knives, get your MTLO fire fish, fire tool, multi-tool, get your magnesium baggies. We even have these as well. And the pucket fire pucks. And get out in the woods and enjoy stuff. Come see us, more Life Outfitters.